Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about bikini tops. This is more specifically for my girls that are bigger up in this region. You have a nice C cup. You can watch this too. No shame. English. I haven't sat down and filmed like a talking video in a while, so I'm kind of out of it. I'm visiting Florida right now. I'm back where I used to live. So I went to the surf shop and got a couple bikini tops because I've been looking for new ones and it's really, really hard to find like a variation of swimwear in Texas. It's so much easier to find swimwear or bikinis or whatever when there's a beach by. Don't ask me why. Texas Austin has a lake, so yeah, I will be doing a try on. So you can see things. Like I'm not trying to be like, look at my boots. They're out in the world. Ugh. At this point, if you are not interested in learning like what I do, um, for somewhere and beachwear and blah, blah blah blah, you should probably click off now because now it's gonna get real weird. So first off, would 100% recommend never order online. I know everyone loves online shopping. I too love online shopping. But when it comes to stuff like this, you have to try it on. Because most bikinis range, uh, the large is usually to fit a D cup. If you're any larger than a D cup, it starts getting like trial and error. And then just the returning, it's just so much hassle getting it Then you usually have to pay to ship it to like return it. It's never free return. I mean, there's probably free exchange, but never free returns. And you always want free returns when you absolutely don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Because like, I'm not gonna keep paying to have it shipped and to have it shipped back because it didn't work. I mean, if you wanna pay for all that, then right on, go ahead, order offline. But personally, I would not recommend. Now saying that, <laughs> the first two bikini tops I'm gonna show you, I ordered offline. But because the size that I got, I I'm pretty sure it says it fits up to a double D, which for the sake of this video, I will share my size. This is just so weird, like who does this? Like I don't want to tell people, like this is kind of personal. I am personally a 32 triple D. So usually bikinis range from A's or double A cups to D's. Here, here's the deal, here's the deal. If you like having cups in your bikinis, uh, I'm not going to be able to help you out because personally, I feel like when there's cups, yes, I guess it can equal more support, but that just means it's going to make your boobs look even bigger. And that's not the goal here because I know my bikini haul that I did um, a few months back, I got so many amazing comments about girls who were bigger busted and how they understand and it was just really cool because not that I think I'm the only one in the world with like big boobs or anything but it was just really cool seeing that like hashtag you're not alone so the first two swimsuits I'm going to show you this I'm just going to show you tops because this is this is what it's all about are the only tops that I took on this trip and they are from 20 sauce but triangle triangle tops are amazing usually ones that on the bottom can open out pretty wide because that means it's going to fit underneath your boot beautifully. I would recommend adjustable straps. So like this has adjustable neck strap and it has an adjustable like rib section. When you're larger on top, I mean I guess when you're any size, you can range so many different things and the great part about this is like if you need to pull it a little bit tighter to hold them up, you can. Now the neck does start hurting, I know, I feel your pain, but you can so they're not like you know what I'm saying? So I have a black one from 20 Sauce and I have a red one from 20 Sauce. This one is called Blood Red and I have it in size large. These are both larges, but hardly ever do companies go big enough to have double D's unless you're starting to go into like the swimsuits that look like grandma swimsuits and like I don't want to wear those, so. 32 Triple D and I fit the large from 20 Sauce white all over it because I just wore this the other day on the beach which I'm really sorry if you hear a lot of noise, but I'm in a hotel right now and I'm sitting on the balcony and like the beach is right there, which... But yeah, I got sunburn on my shoulders the first day I was here, so I had to rub on that zinc, that 50 all over my shoulders so that it's all over the top. The great thing with these tops personally, I found, sorry, I'm gonna put my knees up because like I'm getting into it now, but there's like variations of what you can do with simple triangle bikinis. You can do the classic, 
or what I do on this one, and it's basically where like you would put your arms through the hole like this, right? And then you would strap it around your ribs. So it like goes over your shoulder like, like this as opposed to going to your neck. This relieves some of the pressure from your neck. Now I do have to say this technique of how, technique of tying your bikini like this does not have the ability to hold up the boobs as well as the classic but you can wear it for a long amount of time. Like after wearing like the classic around your neck for so long, your neck literally starts aching so bad and the unbearable pain that comes along with it is just sometimes like no way out. This type of wrap or strap if you have to wear it for a long amount of time. I will only show you swimsuits that you could have the slightest chance of playing volleyball. These, I don't know what magic 20 sauce has in the bikini tops, but you can run you can jump and your boobs are safe in place. If I can give you any advice though, if you do have a larger chest, and even if you don't have a larger chest, do not worry about the nip slip or your boobs lying out. Honestly, it's a fat sack on your chest. Not that big of a deal, okay? I know it can be really embarrassing, especially if you're already subconscious about it in your mind already kind of uncomfortable with it. But if it happens to slip or plop out in any way, shape or form, don't worry about it, laugh it off because that's all you can do, you know? Don't make yourself feel embarrassed or belittled, like don't, you're fine. Honestly, just pop that sister back in and go. Hold your chest, the boobs, very well. I don't, again, I don't know like if it's because the material or something, but I like it. Classic triangle bikini, both larges. Moving on to the new swimsuits I got, which were both the Frankie bikinis, right? So I have this style, in uh, Marley and this style in Marina. I tried on another one that also fit. I can't, I don't know the name of it though because I didn't even think to look at that. But these are both larges and the other one I tried on was a large too. So if you were a 32 triple D about my build, you too can fit Frankie's bikini. So congratulations, you have more options. Which was really amazing for me because I've been looking at Frankie's bikinis forever they are a classic. Um, I always see people or girls posting in Frankie's, but I can't order it because I didn't want to order it because I didn't know if it was going to fit. Now I know three of Frankie's bikini styles fit me in large, so now I feel like I can play around with it a bit more. Bikinis that have triangle slots, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, like, this here has the boob, has like a cutout for one boob and a cutout for the other boob. When you have larger chest, do not go for the tube top look. That just makes you look like you have a uniboob, like in a saggy uniboob at that. I would not recommend tops that are just like all one unit. I would definitely say go for swimsuits that have like separate compartments for each boob. Like, yeah. I would still say try it on in stores if you can. It has really pretty detailing right here. And then didn't even notice that in the store. But still would recommend going and trying them on before you order like I can't stress hard enough like enough at least if you don't have like money falling from the tree like don't order things and expect to not have to pay to return because it's just ridiculous you can try it on or if you're on vacation like if you come to Florida and you live in Ohio and you want some cute bikinis make sure you go to the local surf shops and look at the bikinis because you'll finally be able to get to try on the swimsuits that you've seen everyone else wear that are super cute, like super great on, but you don't know if you can order. I'm pretty sure, as far as Frankie's bikinis go, the large is like for 34 Ds. So, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm a 32 triple D, and it still fits. Okay, so the back does have a little bit of give. It has two sections, so you can either put it on this last one to come off the head. Well, I can't get it to come off. But there's like another compartment right here and right here. So like if you need the chest part to be tighter, so that's nice. This top is kind of weird for me because one, it doesn't have adjustable straps whatsoever, not even the rib section, and it fits. So I was really shocked when I put this on and I actually like the way it looks. And if you too like the way it looks, this swimsuit is your best friend if you have larger boobs. Do you realize this is like full on coverage and it's not one of those things that make you look like you have a uniboob either because it's almost slightly like a crop top. 
I'm sure on a smaller boob girl, this would go a little bit lower onto the torso, but for me, it just goes right under my boob, which is chill, which is fine. Again, sorry, a little lifeguard rescue truck is going by, and I can only imagine the male's drive. Anyway, Frank's bikini, large, great. Honestly, 10 out of 10. So excited. Another thing is, uh, this one, not the blue one, but this one, you can see a little nipple action, you know, that deer in the headlights look. If you're uncomfortable with that, you can wear those things that like the little flowers, the little things you can get to cover like your nipple and stuff, and that will help with the problem because this is a thinner material, but for as thin as it is, it holds them. Like I, every time I try on a swimsuit, I jump around a little bit, I twirl in circles to make sure that they stay in place. They stayed in place, it's just you can like see through. So like this material is, is really strong, but super thin. If you don't really care and it doesn't really bother you, then you're good. Like it'll hold them. It'll hold thy sisters. These are the four bikini tops I would recommend. Honestly, for the price of these triangles, it is just so amazing. I'm pretty sure this is like $35, but like you have to get the top and the bottom at the same time unless you customize. But for the price of these guys, it's totally, totally worth it. For girls on a budget who want to like have that classic look but don't fit other things and then Victoria's Secret always has cups and they're just never like the classic bikini, 20 sauce guys. It's so crazy how cheap these are. Like cheap, I say cheap. Cheap for two little triangle patches with some string. Cheap. It holds and it's just, it's really exciting, like if you're anything like me, it's really exciting when I find tops that work because it's so difficult to, because no one ever caters to, like this size, like I don't know like the average population what size he is, so I mean I guess if I was a brand I probably wouldn't cater towards my size either because it's not average. For those of you who did see my bikini haul, I got the Colborn bikini, I got a top, I got a little triangle top from Colborn. The stupid, like the really dumb thing I do is I will keep buying them because I really like the concept of Colborn. I plan on tanning in my Colborn, but they don't fit unless you are smaller chested. I want that top to fit so bad, but it just doesn't. I'm gonna probably end up tanning in it like out in my house, like by my house in the comfort of my own home. But yeah, I would not recommend Colborn if you're my size. Um, though I still keep buying Colborn stuff, one of those weird messed up things people do. Sea Folly. Sea Folly has this top that Gigi Hadid wore in the cover of like their little campaign. And she has like bigger boobs too, so I was like, I just want to try it on to see. Girl, it holds them sisters. Like you could go surfing in it and you would be good to go. It is the struggle when you like swimsuits and you're larger up here because I think they cater towards smaller types of people and don't even try to like kill me in the comments because both my mom and my sister are smaller chested with different sized ribs and they both can find swimsuits way easier than I can so I'm not saying like oh my gosh my life is just so difficult but it is a little bit harder finding swimwear for larger boobs. Hey guys so I know this is kind of the worst setup ever but this is going to be inserted into the video that I just made because I forgot to mention that Lost Culture, she makes these like crochet bikinis and she makes a bikini top and bikini bottom. Um, I just want to go and give her a huge shout out because I am obsessed with moons, we all know this, and she put a little moon it. And I actually want to order from her again soon, but I'm going to order for my size this time and I emailed her and I asked if she could, so she's making me the bikini that I want for my size specifically. They are on the expensive side, of course, because they're handmade, but she can customize your size, which is amazing for girls who have awkward sizing. So even if you're a hella small chested, girl, she got you, obviously. Like, if you're a triple A, she got you. I have a couple pictures posted on Instagram if you guys want to go check that out. Low-key promote, like, low-key self-promotion, but at the same time, if you want to see what it looks like on, you can go check out those pictures. I'm just not going to do a try-on portion because I just tried on all those tops and I really don't feel like doing that again. But Lost Culture, she can customize your bikini size no matter what you are, which is amazing. I'll leave her link in the description as well as 
the description for all the other bikinis if I can find them. And sorry, the lighting is really bad, but I just wanted to film this part real quick because I forgot to mention that, and that is an amazing thing to do, I guess, if you want to crochet a bikini. That's your side. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.